The BYD Dolphin is an all-purpose little city car built on BYD's new 3.0 Ocean platform and using Blade batteries, one of the safest battery options available. The car could also be the cheapest Chinese EV on the market, with prices starting from just $14,000. Here's everything you need to know about the BYD Dolphin. Stay with us till the end of the video to learn more about this car. Style-wise, a lot is going on inside the BYD Dolphin's cockpit. As an entry-level EV, the hard plastics that dominate the interior are expected. They are, however, seemingly well put together and with no rattles. Below the rotating 12.8-inch central touchscreen, there is a soft-touch faux snakeskin section that stretches the whole dash with a rubberized floating shelf in the middle which houses the gear selector and control buttons. All of the buttons are rocker switches to toggle on and off different functions. The one-piece front seats are comfortable with decent side bolstering and can be positioned low for a better driving position. The driver's seat is six-way electronically adjustable, with the passenger seat being four-way manually adjustable. No memory function on this trim. All seats are again imitation leather, with the same green accent color found on the car's exterior. The rear is a somewhat stark affair, as to be expected in this segment and price point. A single central cup holder and a single USB outlet are provided for rear passengers. However, the legroom is more than ample. Surprisingly spacious for a subcompact, a familiar theme amongst small Chinese EVs, no doubt a result of EV packaging and Chinese buyers focus on rear passenger space. Although the wheelbase for the subcompact is generous, headroom in the back will still be a problem for tall people. Boot space is decent at 345 liters with the rear seats up and over three times the space when the rear bench is down, totaling 1,310 liters. The rear bench is a one piece, not a split bench, so it's all or nothing when putting the rear seats down. Behind the imitation leather multi-function steering wheel, you'll find a five inch color instrument panel. At the same time, it is bright and easy to see. There's a lot of information shoved into tiny screen real estate, which is a bit overwhelming at first. The buttons inside the BYD Dolphin are hard plastic and silver colored units. BYD's party trick is its 12.8 inch rotating central touchscreen. The user experience itself is not the slickest and it gets the job done with a few nice touches. Generally, the graphics look a bit naff and the resolution of the home pages looks low, although movie quality seems fine. After the two home pages, the screen lists apps as you'd find on an iPad, which are not the easiest to scroll through while driving quickly. However, there are two standout features. Firstly, when navigating away from the active sat nav page to another app, a small movable translucent overlay will appear, giving basic nav info on the screen. The second is on the user page, where you can set your home electric tariff and the car will tell you how much the trip costs you based on your electricity price per kilowatt and kilowatts used on that trip. All models come with cruise control. The top model, destined for export to Australia, gets adaptive cruise control. There's no level two ADAS here, no lane keep assist or NOA. It does have a lane departure warning though. It comes with a 360 panoramic camera on most models and all models get rear parking sensors. However, front parking sensors are not available on any models. The front overhang is extremely short without an engine, giving the Dolphin a squarish squat look head on. The curvature of the tiny bonnet slices the top of the automatic LED headlights, giving it a tad more character, coupled with the DRL lights and central light bar. The company's updated logo is nested in the center in 3D lettering. The contrast of a gray bonnet and a white bodywork spiced up with luminous green accents on the wing mirrors and lower front and rear bumpers give a young, funky vibe. 
down the side, the gray bonnet color continues into the A pillar and runs the length of the roof into the spoiler at the rear, giving the appearance of a lower roof line. The C pillar contains a crosshatch like effect, echoed from the front grille. At the back, the standout design cue is the Chinese Knot style LED taillights, a natural design feature with the Build Your Dreams logo centered in the taillight cluster. All of this rides on 16 inch two tone arrow style alloys. There are two power levels in the Dolphin. The base and middle trims get a modest 95 horsepower and 180 newton meters. The acceleration is a lazy affair hitting 100 kilometers per hour from a standstill in 10.5 seconds for the base, with the middle trims even slower at 10.9 seconds, chiefly because of the larger battery. The top model has a peppy 177 horsepower and 290 newton meters. But still, it's not a stoplight drag star with mediocre 7.5 seconds. The middle trim drives as expected. The large sidewall tires smooth out road imperfections while doing nothing for a turn in feel. The suspension is super soft, meaning a lot of wallowing if you try to take a corner at a reasonable pace. But all of these things do help to provide a relaxing, comfortable journey as you battle through city traffic. After all, a cramped urban environment is probably where this belongs, and it does business there. The strong point of the BYD Dolphin is the value proposition. For about 96,800 won or $14,950 after subsidies, customers will get an electric car with a 30.7 kilowatt per hour battery that is expected to go 301 kilometers or 187 miles in the NEDC cycle and a 70 kilowatt electric motor. For a third more, 124,800 won or $19,275 after subsidies, BYD offers a 44.9 kilowatt per hour battery up to 405 kilometers or 252 miles of NEDC and a 130 kilowatt electric motor. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos that you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.